about it is it's interactive and you can actually calculate how much you were spending in gas prices when Bush took office versus now. And you can put in custom information about your vehicle. So you can start there and kind of choose what type of vehicle. So let's just say a car is an average vehicle, 24 miles per gallon, that sounds about right. And you can choose light, average, or heavy driving. So we'll say average driving, just for the sake of averageness. And uh, how large your gas tank is, the average tank is somewhere between 15 and 20 gallons. So let's just do 20 gallons. This will actually calculate how much you're spending in gas when Bush took office versus now. So it's, it's something that really leaves people with a strong impression and we get a lot of, a lot of uh, looks of disbelief when they step away from this exhibit. And this exhibit right here is our Katrina exhibit, which obviously has a, a strong resonance this week, uh, not only because we just past the anniversary, but also because of what's going on with Gustav. And this piece below is a timeline that actually shows by the hour the pleas for help from FEMA and the federal government that the local and city and state government had. And you know, you can kind of see it break down by hour. And it also shows what our you know federal government was doing at the time. And one of those things was uh, George Bush was celebrating John McCain's birthday with a cake while you know, the levees had already <coughs> broke and you know, the people of New Orleans were uh, scrambling to, uh, to stay afloat, quite literally. So that sort of uh, says a lot. And this is a really interesting quote by Perry Reed about what a defining moment this actually will end up being. And it basically says, you know, we can't expect a lot from a government that, that doesn't really see its role as protecting the people in this sense, and you know, you know, fights very hard to dismantle these agencies and you know, not properly fund them. So we shouldn't really expect a whole lot on that end. And this piece right here is our Iraq War exhibit, and it's uh, pretty extensive. Uh, we have a timeline that goes; it starts uh, in the late '90s in terms of the March to War. Uh, this is the piece that usually uh, really grabs people. These are the boots that belonged to Sergeant Patrick McCaffrey. Uh, Patrick McCaffrey joined the National Guard the day after 9-11, and he felt compelled after the attacks to help his country any way he could. He was sent to Iraq, and in 2004, himself and uh, some other members of his unit were turned on by the, uh, by the Iraqi soldiers they were training. So these were our supposed allies, and they actually turned on him and his unit, and he lost his life as well as another soldier in his unit. And these are some of his personal effects that his mother uh, lent us for the tour. These are some photos of him and his family. And this is actually the AP article that describes uh, what happened after he died, which is that uh, the Pentagon kept the information of the cause of his death from his family, from the media, from the public record for two years and his mother had to struggle and fight to get it to come out, and eventually it, was, it came out that he was actually killed by the Iraqi soldiers that he was training. 